Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we are going to be finishing up the armadillo quilt. So last time you guys saw me finish my armadillos and I have a few more to go. I have the bodies of them done. So all of the little bodies of the armadillos. And I just wanted to make a mention that I messed up again. So I was working on the tail pieces and so what you're supposed to do is then to cut this and get your get your little tail piece here and attach that. However, it should go like this. I flipped it. And I tried to see if maybe I could rectify it by sewing it this way and then it would be a little bit short. That didn't work either. So what my caveat to that is pay attention whenever you're doing that part on, on the tail piece here, up here. So it tells you how wide this piece of fabric is. It tells you how wide it is so that you know where you're supposed to sew because obviously it is a rectangle, right? So fortunately, I have enough fabric, I believe, to fix the issue. So I'm gonna go cut some more pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and finish that. And then I'll be able to go ahead and piece the body and the head together and I'll have all, all of my armadillo quilts done. So I'm gonna jump into that and that way we can get this done. Here we go. Okay, so we've come to a bit of a crossroads here in the quilting in that I have finished all of my little armadillos. I definitely did a little bit better on the tails, I feel like, and really paid attention to that quarter inch seam, but I still ended up with the problem of the top line that went with this quilt um, did not fit. So it was a little bit better, about a quarter of an inch short this time around. So I was definitely closer this time than previously, but I was still not close enough. So I also kind of have to make a decision as well because I'm getting down to not having a lot of fabric left. And so I'm going to do these top part pieces here. But the other concern that I have is that I have to use a lot of that background fabric for the quilt. Now, I have cut all of the recommended cuts for the background. And so I'm hoping that I'm gonna be okay and I'm gonna be able to do some of these. But if not, what I'll probably have to do is use some of my previously cut ones. It's just gonna add a few more seams throughout the quilt. So what I've decided to do is to focus on the center of the quilt and I'm going to use that yardage that has not been cut to go ahead and do the top part of the armadillo. And then I'm going to, for the sort of sashing, if I'm short there, add a little bit on at the end of there. I don't think that that will be as noticeable for the whole quilt, um, rather than having multiple seams across every little armadillo. So that's the choice I'm making. So my tip for this one would be to not cut that strip that goes across the armadillo or to cut it, but don't subcut it and just leave it as a strip and cut the whole thing. Uh, and then sew your armadillos to it and then cut rather than subcutting because if you're short, you're short and you can't really make that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to sewing these on and then I'll put the little face on and then I'll be ready to do the entire quilt border or the entire quilt. So let's jump into that. Okay, everybody. So we have got all of our armadillos here and we're ready to go ahead and take them, lay them out so that we can put this quilt top together. We've got some spacers, some sashing and some border fabric to put on as well. And then we'll be ready to get this thing onto the quilting loom. So let's get to finishing up this quilt top.
Okay, everyone. So as you can see behind me, I have finally finished the armadillo quilt. I am super excited to have it done and really excited to get it onto the quilting frame and get it finished up. I know I didn't show a ton of the sashing and the border, but that was just because it's really sewing strips together to finish it. So I know this video is maybe not as long as some of the other videos, but it was really me just getting this quilt completed. I only had a little bit of a snafu on one of these quilt borders, which are one of these quilt rows, which I think is a little bit difficult to see. So I don't think it's going to be really noticeable, but it was associated with the fact that I did all of the purple armadillos by themselves and then went back through and did the green, gray, and tan armadillos and I did all of those armadillos together and so those armadillos are a lot closer together in size. The other thing is that my piecing did get better so I really paid attention to that quarter inch line. I was still short on this piece up here but at the end of the day I don't think it's really that noticeable um, and I had enough fabric so even with the mess ups that I did where I had to cut more fabric to do these little strips right here. I still had plenty of fabric to finish the quilt and have a little bit of background fabric left over. So I did use more than what I would have had to because of the mess ups, but ultimately the fact that I'm able to finish the quilt, that's all that matters. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this quilt. I hope you've enjoyed watching me put it together. Again, this is an Elizabeth Hartman quilt and I will link the design and the pattern down below. If you're interested in purchasing it, um, you can purchase that. There are quilt kits out there. I purchased mine from Fat Quarter Shop. I will link that down below where you can go online and purchase the whole kit to be able to do this quilt exactly. And the next episodes will likely be me quilting this quilt. So I'm super excited to get it onto the frame and get that done. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment down below. I have really enjoyed all of the comments that I've been getting and the support that I've been getting along this quilting journey. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate that and keep it coming and stay tuned for some more awesome quilting videos. Have a great day. Thanks.